Ayato. He was the first figure on hand, okay, and I really wanted to start the video with that. P.O. Box time. It's a uh, P.O. Box from... I have an idea, but I'm not exactly sure. So what we're going to do, we're going to... I feel like I've seen this before, where they put the letter on the outside. Which, it's a good idea if you forgot to pack it in. Um, it's actually a good idea. But I'm worried I'm going to damage it. I mean, like I said, though, it is actually a good idea. So let's dissect this. How how you how you guys doing? Now, granted, like I would have this video by the time you see it is probably recorded at least I, I at least want to say two weeks ago because that's just how I that's how I roll, baby. That's how I kind of do stuff now. Hey, baby. That's that's how I do it. Okay, I think I've got it. There we go. Read fast. All right. Let's make sure I'm not just gonna destroy contents by doing that. See, I know what I'm doing. Some days, sometimes, not all the time. Okay, I think that is it. Yes, yes. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I it's from who I thought it was from, but they have their address on the bottom. So <laughs> I, I had. I, I will not be able to show the bottom of this letter. Um, I don't know how much you saw of me opening it up. So anyways, GCC224, it's me, Rexboy8. He said he sent me something, so I went to the post office and checked, and it was there. I just wanted to send you a package of, oh, bad word, I found in my room. Some you like, some you may like, but it has a lot of fodder. <laughs> also, I've had this thing uh, in my room for months, and it was next to my trash can, so if some bits of plastic, you know why. Please write me back address here, so yeah, I will try to write you back. Uh, I'm not, I've tried. I kind of consider the videos almost like the writing back, but I'll keep that off to the side and try to remember. It might be a while. Uh, I did try send, I tried, someone wanted me to send something back, and I did, and I think it got lost in the mail, so that's unfortunate. But, hopefully, I'll, I'll try to remember, but I tend not to do that, uh, but I'll, I'll try. I'll set it off to the side. Oh, my dear. This is going to be one of those. Ooh, this is going to be one of those. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had one of those, so I'm actually really excited. Um, I, I really need to do something with all the toys you guys send me, though, that I really don't have much of a personal use for. This, however, I'm definitely keeping. Bruce Wayne from The Batman. Yes, definitely. This is definitely going to my collection. I love, I love the Batman. I need to rewatch it at some point. Yeah, I'm actually a big fan of that. Thanks, man. It's the Batman. God, the theme on that was so cool too. Some of this though. Hey, this this might be good for something someday. I don't think I actually have this Django loose. Oh, is that actually how they painted him? Oh my gosh, they actually painted him with that beard. Oh no, that's funny. Yeah, I don't have this Django loose. It's not. It's by far one of the worst Django's I've ever done. This though, definite keeper. Uh, Superhero Squad Spidey. I love me some Superhero Squad. I don't have a lot of it, but I actually really like that. Thank you, thank you. I've been saying thank you like uh, Kakuin a lot lately. I need to stop. Uh, here is a leg. Looks like a Devis leg. <laughs> Poor boy. But yeah, it's actually kind of cool. I might be able to use it someday. Hey, this is nice. It's a, uh, I want to say Last Jedi Kylo Ren. Uh, I might actually be able to use, like, the helmet or something with a head swap. Yeah, I actually really appreciate that. Thanks. I can't have enough Kylo Ren. Oh, this is sweet! This is sweet! I think I already have a figure in this line. I don't think this is Marvel Universe. This is like a three and a quarter inch Spider-Man line. It's, like, mildly articulated. It's Hobgoblin! I don't have a Hobgoblin figure. That is so cool. Wow, I freaking love that. That's definitely going amongst my three and three quarter inch villains and, you know, just my general Marvel stuff. Thank you. Oh, here's a, a Poe Dabadone uh, with his banana visor. Yeah, that was the thing, wasn't it? Oh, dearie. Oh, dearie me, banana visor. What else we got? Ooh, we have another Django. This is the, uh... oh, dear. This is, I think I actually did have this one. Maybe, possibly, I don't remember. This is the uh, the one where the head it was uh, a magnet. 
so you can replicate his death. I gotta look at this. Ooh, this might not be, um, I might actually find some use with this at some point. Definitely that head. This is a, uh, Legacy Collection Cody, you can see because of the, uh, he is miss he's got the, the, the thing on the wrong way. Yeah, Legacy Collection Cody, that's actually really nice. Might be able to actually harvest some of the parts and do something with it, I don't know. But yeah, I actually really appreciate this as fodder, thank you. Uh, here's the other leg to, uh, I'm assuming Devis. That one's straight up broken, oh dear. The next up we have, um... Ew. <laughs> Sorry if ew's not the response he wanted, but I don't... Is he yellowed? I think he's yellowed. His, his ch I was just so caught off guard with his weird chest. I mean, obviously, this is the power of the Force Sand Trooper. Like, this figure means a lot to me. I actually have a few of it. Um, he actually doesn't have the pauldron anymore, and his head actually is really loose because of it. This might actually be a good, like, fodder stormtrooper or something. I kind of like the power of the four stormtroopers. I'll definitely accept that into my collection, good sir. This is one of those things. Remember I was saying how people send me stuff and I just don't know what to do? This is one of those. What? What, what am I going to do with this, bruh? I appreciate it, though. I appreciate all this dumb stuff. It makes for a fun video, at the very least. Oh, here's an old power of the force. Obi-Wan Kenobi robe. Kind of cut up. But hey, it might actually be useful someday. If I ever need, like, robe texturing on a thing. I have all these ambitious ideas for customs, and I never do them. Here's another core guy. This guy's really cool. Not really. But it's kind of surprising how good these figures are for how cheap they are. It's only, like, what, two bucks? Something like that? Not bad. And here's another core guy. Uh, totally not a ripoff of Flint or Hawk. You know, they're kind of interchangeable, aren't they? G.I. Joe fans are going to be so mad at me, but <laughs> I'm just talking about, like, the beret look. Um, he, he, he has more of, like, a hawk look, because he's got the, uh... He kind of looks like Tommy Lee Jones, doesn't he? That's kind of neat. I kind of like that, but they're not for me. Next up, we have... Ooh! We've... <laughs> we've done it. Racism is no more. It's a penguin. He squirts. He does the squirt if you do his back. What's next? Kwagon Jin. Wooja, wooja, you magic. I actually had this one growing up. I really like this one. It's actually pretty good. Kwagon Jin. The next up, we have another Mr. Freeze. This is the, um, the McDonald's Lego one. I already have this, but it's Mr. Freeze. So I love having more of it. Thank you. Then this is a car. Oh, this isn't just a car. This is... Oh, 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 oh this is sweet. It's like a Dark of the Moon weaponized car. Then you flip it and you just have Bumblebee. I really like that. I really like that. And it's die cast. It's like a legit sort of Hot Wheel style car. I am a fan. Thank you. And next up we have... Ooh. Oh, this is actually really cool. Doctor Doom. Urgh. I get so many weird little Marvel things and I love them all. And I'm, I'm just... I'm doomed. Ha! <laughs> get it? I actually did not mean to say that. That's kind of funny, isn't it? This is interesting. No cape, unfortunately. But I'm sure the cape Mattel gave him originally was trash. Um, this is a Man of Steel Superman. Three and three quarter inch figure. He's got blue eyes. Looks exactly like Henry Cavill. Really good figure. I wish he had the cape, but ooh. Yes. Yes! Dude, yes! Yes! Um, <laughs> I don't know if I've made it clear enough in videos. But I love the Mega Bloks Iron Man 2 stuff. And I've always wanted more. I just have the War Machine, but now I have Mark V. He's got a little bit of paint. Is that even... No, it's not even paint scuffing. It's just like where it's misprinted. That's unfortunate, but hey, it's not your fault. Yes, it's the Mark V. I love Mega... I love Mega Bloks figures. They're so cool. I'm very happy with that. Thank you so much. That's... Hate to say it, probably my favorite thing so far. I don't really hate to say it, but come on. I'm just... I, I love stuff like that. I've been looking at this for a while. I'm curious. I am danger. Oh my god. Dude, this guy is sweet. I don't know what he's from, but I love him. Oh my gosh. Dude, look, he's got like ribs in his body. He's like a radio... Dude, he's got bones all in him. He's got bones in his arms too. And in his thighs. He's got bones. He's like a radioactive like bone guy. 
I don't know if he was supposed to have a helmet or not, but I need to know what this is from. I need to know what this is immediately. I love him so much. I love this. I don't even know what it is, and I love it. Uh, this, ooh, this is a, uh, I don't remember his name. This is a G.I. Joe. He's deep. Whoop! Well, he broke. Uh, <laughs> maybe he was already broken, I don't know. I can, we have the technology. We can rebuild him, maybe, possibly. Yeah, he's, he's seen some better days. I'll have to try to fix him a little bit. Yeah, it's a, jeez, I can't remember his name. He was from Rise of Cobra, obviously. He's got the Rise of Cobra logo. Hmm. I'll have, to, I'll have to look him up. Ooh, that's cool. I did this all the time as a kid, too. I cut out the, uh, the kind of the package things. That's really cool. I like that. That's cute. And then we have, reaching in blind. Ooh, yes! Yes, adding to my clone ranks. I think I already have, like, two or three of this guy. But it's another lieutenant. Another one of those mildly articulated lieutenants. I am down. I'm totally down for that. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Any new clones to the ranks, I appreciate. Hey, look. Rebel Stormtrooper. Awesome. I already have a few of this, but I'll definitely take another. You can never say no to... No! I burped. You can never say no to another Stormtrooper. What else we got? We've got... Oh, this is um, Orlando Bloom from Pirates. I still need to watch the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. They're on Disney+. Plus. I have no excuse now. I just... Let me know. Are they any good? Like, is it, is it worth my time? I never grew up with them. Let me know in the comments below. Ooh. Oh, my. Yes, please. I will take an articulated Clone Wars Count Dooku. Why, yes. I will give him my other Count Dooku's cape. Why, yes. I will put that other Count Dooku in a drawer and totally forget about it and just have this articulated one now. Oh, why you gotta do this to me, Rex boy? You're just spoiling me. Oh, here's another Batman without his cape. I actually do already have this one as well. I actually bought this back when it came out. It's funny, Batman, he has swivel arms and no elbows, but he has knee bends. But Superman did not have knee bends. That's kind of funny. Yeah, it's another Batman. I think it's cool that there's like a decent three and a quarter inch Christian Bale Batman out there. I think it's nice. Going in, we have, ooh, is this another Transformer? No. It just says clone. I get it, clone. It's a clone, guys. It's another clone. Reaching in. We have... Ooh. Okay, guys. Look out. We got another um, Transformers... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my. What have you done, Hasbro? What have you done? He's so similar to the one I already reviewed. I'm not even joking. He looks the same. He's better, um, but thank you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that will definitely get a video at some point. I'll probably have to review it alongside another one, but I always review these Transformers crossovers, guys. Thank you so much for that. Reaching in, we have, ooh, yes. Uh, I mean, it's Garandin. Of course I'll take it. <laughs> I already have one of the original Power of the Force Garandin, uh, but he's one of my favorite backgrounders. It kills me. He's getting a Lego minifigure finally, but it's in that giant set. Kills me. Reaching in, we have, ooh, another Ark Trooper. You always see these Arcs without their armor, but honestly, at this point, I just kind of consider them like, I don't know, lieutenants or something. Like, I, I literally, like, I don't know. <laughs> They're lieutenants, 500 first, something like that. Maybe specialized. I don't know. I need to give them like different gear or something and just consider them like a different part of the army because I have so many of these without armor at this point. I've been looking at this for a while. This is, a, ooh, classic Zam. I've actually never had a classic uh, Saga Zam. That's not bad looking. She, she looks like she has a really tiny head. Like she has no head. That's funny. Yeah, she's cool looking. I think that was a sneak preview figure, right? Unless I'm mistaken. I've been looking at this for a while. And, oh, oh dude, you know what? Why do ooh, why do I get the feeling like I'm probably wrong? This guy looks like he's in some sort of hazmat suit. I'm probably definitely wrong, and I'm probably making a fool out of myself. Why does this guy look like he goes with this guy? Like, I just get that vibe. It's like radioactive freaking like zombie guy versus like guy in a really cool 
like hazmat suit that looks like something you'd see in a 50 sci-fi movie. I love this figure. I love this one. Not as much as this one, but I love this. He's going with my skeletons. I have like a whole shelf full of skeleton stuff. That's where he's going. I wonder if he glows in the dark. He might. Next up, I've been looking at this for a while. It's another Harrison Dula. It's Hera, Harrison Dula. I think I already have like two of this. <laughs> But I will take it. Then this is going to my brother. I think I already have one. Uh, he's a, he's one of those Rose Tico nuts. And I don't think he has this version of Rose yet. So he will get to this Rose Tico. Oh, dearie. Oh, dearie, my. Ooh, yes. Yes, please. I do have a Power of the Four Stormtrooper already. But he's really dirty and played with and kind of yellowy. Um, this is nice and white. Thank you. Wow. Uh, then reaching in, we have... Oh, dear. Uh, this one looks like some custom fodder pots. Looks like you're taking a Bacara and some other... Oh, you made yourself a pauldron. That's so cool. That's awesome, man. Definitely a useful comma there I'll be able to use. Yeah, awesome. Awesome fodder. People ask me, like, hey, do you have clone hands you could spare? No, look at this. I obviously don't have ones to spare. I still have a couple in my collection that are missing some. Hey, look, more fodder. That... This cloak, or the, that, will be very useful if I ever do a custom that I want with that. Thank you. And reaching in, we have... Oh, dearie. Anakin has been entirely dismembered. That's unfortunate. Reaching in, we have... Ooh, no! No! I'm, I'm not saying no because you've dismembered a Cody. I'm saying no because I have to gaze my eyes upon this 5VOA Cody in any way, shape, or form again. Uh, yeah, his only use is, is as a custom fodder. <laughs> uh, I see you use the visor. That's actually a really good idea. Take the visor off of this dumb Cody and uh, give it to a better figure. Okay, what else we got? Reaching in. We're almost done, and I hate it. Oh, no... Oh no. <laughs> I don't like that. No. <laughs> Anyways, dude, he looks like he's wearing a like a, a COVID mask, right? But he just has a hole cut out for his lips. And he's not wearing it over his nose, so he's not a responsible mask wearer. He's just like, yeah, I'll wear a mask, but this is how I'll do it. Yeehaw! I'm like, it doesn't look like a beard. Oh, I've seen some of these. These are like these uh, cheaper soldier figures. I've actually handled a few in my day. They're actually not bad. Now, granted, he looks... Um, he looks a little funny. But other than that... I mean, it, it's, it's not that... I don't know, I just find that use of mustache really weird. You don't really see soldiers with mustaches like that. Ever. You know? It's just kind of an odd look. Like, why is he? Why did he have a mustache like that? Hmm. Anyways, reaching in, we have uh, an Endor commando with a uh, kind of goofy, doofy little face. He's like, hmm. I think it's a good explanation. He's like, hmm. Reaching in, we have. Ooh, no. Was it you that mentioned this? I'm going to have to look back at our messages, man, because I know you've, you, we've been mess messaging on Instagram for a while. I vaguely remember now someone. Was it you that mentioned this guy and that I would be sent one? Was it you? Oh, my God. No. You didn't. You didn't. I have been jealous of my brother's classic 41st Elite Kashyyyk Trooper minifigure for over a decade. And here it is. Finally in my possession. My life feels so much more complete now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what was... It? Okay. New favorite. Oh my gosh. I gotta say him there. There's still things in here, by the way. Oh my, Rex boy, what are you doing to me? What are you doing? And then here we have, ooh, armored gloves. Oh, that's neat. Oh, they're like custom uh, armored gloves. 
I actually really like the packaging on this. <laughs> I like three bucks though, just for some printed hands. Oof. That's definitely a very um, high-end kind of customization thing. I'm going to keep this in the package for now because I don't have a minifigure that has a use for these currently because um, I don't think I want to give it to an official one. But thank you. I, re I just like the packaging on this a lot. <laughs> I might just hang this up on my wall and people are like, what? And I'll be like, dude, there's little hands in it. Oh, okay, whatever. Okay, feeling in. We've got just a few other tiny things. Ooh. Oh, cool. This is one of those... Um, someone was saying it was like one of the coolest armors. And I was over here saying it doesn't even look like Halo. I don't remember the name of it. But it's a blue one. It's a blue one with that cool looking helmet. And then a spider. Ooh, spider. Then we have... Oh, dear. <laughs> I just look in and I see a pair of legs. We have some arms to the gunner. So he's actually a little more physically complete. We have another classic Lego gun, which I don't know if you knew that, but I actually really like those classic Lego guns. And then we have legs. I don't even know who these go to. <laughs> They're just the legs, but I appreciate the legs. Thank you. Okay, so that was amazing. You, Rex boy, you have outdone, you have outdone yourself. Let's just do what I normally do. We got some memes in here. We got some genuine additions to the collection. <clears throat> Burp time. <laughs> I can't control my burps. We have some cool figures I never even, like, knew existed. Like him. And then, of course, the crown jewel. Let's put him right... He's standing right on Cody's crotch. There we go. The crown jewel. Standing on the crown jewels. There we go. He, 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 come on. There we go. My boy. Finally. After all these years. Let's, let's stick on him. Then we'll have the green skelly boy. Just like, hello! Alrighty, guys. Absolutely amazing... P.O. Box. I, like, there's so much other stuff. Amazing P.O. Box unboxing from Rex Boy. I... Ah, uh, stop it. Stop it, people. First, it's like... Last time, I got the 12-inch Biker Scout and Speeder Bike. And this time, here I am with, like, clones and him and other cool things I didn't even know existed. Just one of these awesome things with just tons of 3 quarter inch goodness. Oh, I love it. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, Rex Boy. Uh, if you want to send anything in the P.O. Box, here's the address. Um, I got to go sort through these guys, have some fun. But I got I got some college schoolwork I need to do, too. So I'll have to get that. I'll have to get that done first, probably. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you. Bye.